Welcome to Switch Corner, my name is Alex. Today we're taking a look at the spirit and the mouse on the Nintendo Switch. Now this one, it's a relaxed adventure tale about a mouse out to help, but is it worth the cash? Well, that is what I'm here to find out, so hit subscribe, join us here for reviews and deals near daily, and let's get started. If you are thinking about grabbing anything then from the eShop, consider using a cornershop.gg for instant delivery email eShop credit. You'll be getting 10% off at checkout using a code corner. Story then and we find ourselves in a small town in France, a village that's currently going through a thunderstorm. This storm though, not only causing a bit of mayhem for this town, but also it's about to change the life of one smaller mouse by the name of Lila. All she wants to do is basically help the people of this town, and having seen a scarf escape her washing line, that's exactly what she sets out to do. Quickly though, things they turn to disaster, or at least that is how it initially seems. You see the scarf, it was a top, a tower, a metal one at that. You climb it, you get struck by lightning. Somehow though, you are still alive, you come to, and you've now merged with what is an electricity-based spirit guardian by the name of Lumion. This power you now hold, it's transferred and Lumion needs your help. Make the people in this world happy so he can get back to his own home. It's a feel-good narrative for the most part and it absolutely fits into the wholesome world of gaming with a relaxed pace, relatively low stakes and some heartfelt messaging. I enjoyed it for the most part as well, although I would comment some of the characters can talk just a little too much and at points the pacing it just felt a tad too slow. Gameplay then and essentially we have a third person adventure that's broken down into easily digestible sections that will basically be find a human who needs help, the majority of which just need power restored and away you go. Now to do this, you'll be locating a generator and powering it up. Firstly, that is with electricity, then by finding kiblins. These are small electricity creatures with big personalities that have left their expected location. When you do find the Kiblins though it typically results in a small quest on their behalf to ensure they return as soon as possible. Once returned we power things up, we collect the happiness from the humans that were involved and we'll be delivering this back to Lumion. The map then generally it grows as well, we start in the south but can work towards east, west and north locations and they each gradually expand in size. That's really the majority to what is involved with gameplay though and it keeps things as simple, especially on a control front. We can walk, sneak though I felt little a need to use it, we can squeak and we can electrocute items in the world. We can also then gain additional skills and buy abilities at a store. Now I didn't really use it all of that much, but the option is there and you'll be collecting a light bulbs to trade around at the map. That's gonna be alongside collecting a lightning bolts as well. These will be used to power the different centers. It's an easy case of basically checking all areas as well as electrocuting anything that shows a shimmer. Typically it's gonna reward you with something. Alongside the basic mechanics then, we also get the ability to turn into electric so we can pass through objects temporarily. We can climb, whether that's jumping to a step or climbing a wall and chair, different surface types. You see, they show a different reaction from Lila. We can also then pass through electrical terminals for easy access to locations and there's no fall damage as well, even though there's a lot of climbing. The controls are I was really impressed, look sure occasionally the camera can get a little wild due to it being in third person with some confined spaces, but I just appreciated the low angle. It really made for a world that felt huge around us. The main moment I did see the kind of weird camera as well, it was immediately following one of the game's many cutscenes. Where the game did fall a little flat for me though at times was its mission design. It tries to keep things fresh with everything from code based puzzles to scaling larger locations to even hide and seek but it's still a little repetitive in the sense the outcome for the most part is always the same task. Return Kiblins to the electrical box and then see the story advance. Even the dialogue exchange from each power unit it basically repeats so that did not help it in feeling pretty old as you started to go through the experience. I did like the short human stories though, the artist that simply wants to paint or the resident who wants to ensure they can watch the latest episode of their favourite show. How about the woman who is scared of ghosts? Simple things that clearly can bring, you know, just an ounce of joy. 
Fortunately though, the personalities of these Kiblins, they do a lot of the heavy lifting, as do the humans in fact when they deliver that happiness, but it's definitely an experience where the idea could have done with maybe a little more creativity rather than relying on just one very good idea. The same can be said for the electrical powers and movement in general. I see many opportunities to expand and it felt a little restricted by design in where and what I could traverse. Overall though, look honestly, it is a wholesome one, it's not challenging, it brings an entertaining and relaxed time while I'm not outstaying its welcome. It took me roughly 5 hours to get through and that's without all collectibles. If I had to do an estimate here, I'd say that could probably get me a couple more hours of gameplay. It's also worth knowing finally the puzzles, they never change with each playthrough, I detest that, and there's no traditional difficulty modes in here. What you can do however is turn off waypoints and you can turn off hints as well in the options. Graphically then, I really liked it. Lila, I loved all of the animations, particularly the idol animation of her getting a nap in. The streets and the general city itself looks great, and for the most part it runs just fine. I did feel a couple of moments had a very brief frame rate drop, but it really doesn't impact a game such as this one. And yeah, the highlight then, it has to be the spirit guardians and the kibbles. The Kibbles in particular, they just reminded me of the Ghibli Sup Monsters, which is an instant win in my eyes. While the game then is set around one night, they've done a good job of differentiating locations, but also making them appear lived in even though there is no foot traffic. Finally, for the visuals, the humans you need to help, they're presented in this vivid minimalistic way as you peer through windows, and these were really well done as well. Outside of the occasional bit of clipping and the occasional blurred texture though, there's very few complaints from me. Audio finally, and some basic sound effects for the spoken word sections not directly recorded, instead a bit more emotional reaction through the character animation, then the music incredibly chill, somewhat repetitive honestly, but fortunately the music we do get I really liked it, it's relaxed piano pieces and it suits the setting perfectly. Overall then, the spirit and the mouse, it's wholesome entertainment with relatively low stakes and a relaxed pace to the action. It has issues, a too slow moving plot at points. Repetitive mission structure, they're probably the big two, but I can't deny I enjoyed my time in this world. It was a fun little ride that didn't outstay its welcome with a likeable cast of characters. This is a world as well that I want to see more of. They absolutely deserve it, and as I said, there's some clear opportunities here where this could actually be quite special, but for this first attempt, I still think it's good. And yeah, with that in mind, it's a 7 out of 10 from me, and kudos to the two-person team that put this one together. There is no question for a smaller team, it's very impressive work. And that is the video down, will you be adding this one to the library or holding onto that cash? Let me know in the comments down below. Then hit subscribe, join us here for reviews and deals near daily. And I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks everyone.